Hello everyone, this is Maria and today we continue playing the Outer Worlds. We are also doing a quest for Nyoka, our newest companion. So I hope it will help us, you know, get good relationships with her. And I thought we might do some companion quests today or maybe some interesting optional quests because I feel like we are going through the main story. Oh, we're leveling up, amazing. Yeah, I feel like we're going through the main story pretty fast. I'm not sure, of course, because I really don't know. Oh, we can open it. But no, I don't want to use it here because we might need these items, lock picking items somewhere else. So yeah, as I was saying, I think that we are pretty quick in terms of the plot because we are not doing a lot of optional quests Here they come. and I kind of want to fix that you know, to get a better feeling of the game, of the story but yeah, I don't know what we will do today but probably some companion, companion quests I remember that we had some companion quests for Parvati and her boyfriend with the books or something about the books, I'm not entirely sure so, skill points available. Do we have anybody else here? I don't think so. Yeah, let's do it. Nice. And we have range, dialogue, tech. Yeah, let's do tech. Now we have 50, 50, 47. Oh, and persuade, lie, intimidate as usual. Also, yeah, let's... But we are not really using heavy weapons. Wait, what are we using? Let me check. Um, and before that, yeah, let's revert everything and let me check what we have as our main weapons. Okay, yeah, we do use heavy weapons, long guns, long guns, long guns. Okay, so we're using long guns and heavy, heavy, what? Heavy weapons. So it means that we don't really need handguns, which is interesting. So let's do this for long guns. And let's do... Wait, did I do this one already? No, I don't think so. And tech, also engineering. We do use engineering, so I think this is valuable. And next time we will probably allocate a couple of points to long guns and, and heavy weapons. So we'll see. Wonderful. And Yoka also has something for us. Increase your life skill when Yoko is in the party. Amazing. We like a good life, life skill. We're using it quite a lot in this game. What is this? I really like how they designed planets. I think it's amazing. Okay, let's go. We have some monsters here. Okay, let me check. Where is my favorite weapon? Oh, yeah, we can use it. Wonderful. Nice. Nice. For it now. nice hit. And another one. Look at us. Great. Do we have anybody else? No? So I'm wasting... Why so many things? I'm wasting my bullets as usual. Not bullets. What is this? Like, just a shot? I don't know. Hey, is grave. Let's go there. Can we go around here? Uh, nope. <laughs> we cannot do that. So let's try to find a way. It, wait. Can we find a way? Nyoka. How can we get there? It doesn't look like we can. Wait. How? So they want us to go here. No, we should probably come here. And then this way, right? So we need to turn left. But there is nothing, right? Yeah, there is nothing here. So we should probably go a little bit back. And find a way to the left. Right? You know what? I think it's it might take some time. So I will be back in a second. All right, we actually found somebody, so let's talk. Hello. Oh, hey there. Thanks again for getting me away from those marauders. You're welcome. You want to buy something? I mean, I don't think so. 
I'm surprised you're so cheaper after about working out here. Hey, life's too short to be worried about danger this and careful that. I'd rather just do my job and try and enjoy it. Sure. Okay, let's see what she has. Maybe we could buy some pistols. I mean, like, ammo and bullets and everything. I really like her clothes, okay? But this is more practical. So, hello, guys. Where should I go now? Because I'm not sure. And where are we? We're here, so we need to go... We need to go to which side? Let me see on the map. We need to go right. Wonderful. Let's go. Is this correct? No, it's not. Which one is it? This one? Fall. Yes. Brooks on the other side of the bridge there if you need a drink. We're only halfway to the mountain, so might consider stopping in. You know, you're kind of an alcoholic. Why does she want to drink? Where is our quest? Radio Free Monarch. Nyoka gave you directions to spot, to spot on Monarch where she buried Hayes, a member of her old crew. And the broker resides in a station at the top of Devil's Peak. Travel there and speak with him. Okay. You've reached Holbrook, which is roughly halfway to the station. I mean, why, why do we need to know that? So, let's go here. I'm so confused, sorry. I know I'm usually not that bad at maps, but I got confused for a bit. So, let's see these guys, right? Here we go! That ain't working! It's too tough! Let's do this. Nice. And... Oh, it's Parvati, sorry, sorry. Nice. Them. It's the last of them. Let's take some ammo. Let's pick up other things. Energy cell, wonderful. And this one, great. We have some monsters ahead of us. I don't know what type. <gasps> Wait, I remember. Can we study her? Yeah. Spawns, manty swarms. Smells faintly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Armor. Wait, wait, wait. Blocking and can release it in a blast of plasma. But what is the most effective weapon against her? Look northwest. That ain't it. But marauders sometimes camp inside the buildings there. Sure. Steer clear unless you fancy getting shot. Okay. Nice. Bound still. I'll let you know when we can start ascending. She's strong. Am I going to fail this one? I might. No, no, I think we're okay. Great. Nice. This is really nice. Let's take some stuff. Enemy killed. We got quite a bit of XP, which is great. And let's go to his grave. So she said not to go here, and we can see that we also don't need that. So we need to go following this side of the road. Okay, basically we're just going straight ahead and trying to get to the destination, she said. So if I find anything interesting, I will let you know. But for now, let's skip this part. All right, guys, we finally found this spot after running around for a very long time. So let's just clear this area. And I don't have any bullets, right? Oh, nice. Yeah, let's clear this area. And I think everything's gonna be fun. All right, and another one. Really, I don't have any bullets. I just bought new Everyone ones. all right? Okay, I guess I will have to use a little bit of melee weapon next time right and let's go so what do we have here 
buried near the surface of Hay's grave in a small log box. Its hinges rusted through and its wood almost completely rotted. Okay. Great. So let's do this. Got himself eaten doing the right thing. So we are giving Yoka a medallion. Hayes was the best self-sacrificing son of a saint I ever met. Halcyon is worse off without him. Now, if we're gonna lure the Manta Queen out, we'll need to find Rebecca and Anders. They took a UDL contract on Terra too. We never heard from them again. Think it's time I call in a favor with Hiram. If anyone can track them down, it's him. Wait, you want us to go to Terra too? Hold on, tell me about the UDL contract. Why do we need their help? The queen ain't just gonna come out on her own. She'll have dug tunnels into the mountain. I've got theories about how to lure her out, but Anders would know for sure. Okay, off to see the information broker then. Yes, we found the entrance, which is amazing. So let's go. I kind of miss dialects in this area because before that we were talking to people quite a lot and here we are mostly doing, you know, running and shooting, which is also kind of... Wow, that is beautiful. So this is kind of fun as well, but I would like to hear more dialogue between Parvati and Nyoka, for example. This is really beautiful. Who's going to attack us? Look up. That makeshift bridge, we gotta cross it. First we go under, then hook around to the left, then up and over. Good to know. Okay, I really do need to take some melee weapon because otherwise I won't be able to do anything. So this is my favorite. I mean, I like these too. I don't know. Okay, this is diamond quality, right? I think I equipped diamond quality. Yes, this one. So let's take this one away. Nice. I don't have any skills for melee weapon, but I don't have any choice. Only Spencer's choice. Incoming! Nice. Okay, guys. Let me... Here I go! Whoa! I'm finally using some companion skills. That looks amazing. Covering you. Yeah, I need to use it way more often than I did before. Leveling up without doing anything also great, right? So let's check. Maybe it's time to do something about the melee damage, but I don't want to. I don't want to put any skills here. So, okay, let's just go and do what we usually do and hope for the best. Okay, let's do medical science, engineering. Wait, 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 wait. We are we shouldn't have put any anything in uh, handguns because we are not using them. So long guns, persuade, lie, intimidate, and medical science, engineering. Then we should have what? Yeah. Okay. Let's put a little bit in melee, just a tiny little bit. Okay. And maybe, maybe where? Hand guns, long guns, heavy weapons, into persuasion, because we are using it more often than anything else. And some perks, which is great, 10 dialogue skills, this is amazing, but I think we need to do something else. Maybe health restored per kill, it could be useful. Chance to reset a companion ability cooldown when using the other companion's ability. 25%. It is good. And as we can see, it is really useful. Chance to reset a companion ability cooldown on each critical hit. We are doing critical hits quite often, right? I think more often than we are doing anything else. Science weapon damage. Yeah, let's do this one. I think it can be very useful. And we need to not forget about companion skills. It is very valuable. And I think that it's a shame that I didn't use it before. But you know, we're learning, doing new things. So it is great, right? Wait, I have some ammo, right? Wonderful. 
This is great. Okay. Here How? they come. Cool. Okay. And now V. Great. Let's do it. Nice. Thank you, Nyoka. And now let's do Karachi. Whoa. That looks amazing. Sorry. And this is it? Nice, Parvati, you're strong. Let's do this, guys, now. Incoming! Yeah. Why? I'm pressing. Why nothing happens? Okay, let me just check. What is happening? V? Nice. I am a storm! And now this one? Great. Okay, this is great. This is nice. Who are we shooting now? There is nobody here, no? Whoa, it's alive. Let me try to do anything else. Okay, great. I did absolutely nothing useful, but I think it's okay. Guys, I'm on fire. Okay, Marauder. Let's continue. Do we need to go there? I'm not entirely sure. Oh! Watch out! That wasn't intentional. Don't mess with us. Great. And now, where should we go now? Nyoka, could you please tell us where to go? Because she's supposed to be our guide. So, do we need to go around? Do we have a map? Yeah, we kind of do. This place is beautiful, don't get me wrong. I just don't completely understand how are we supposed to get out. Not like this. Yoka. Let me check. The sound of the water, also amazing. We need to go up, but how do we get there? Here they come. Oh, hello, guys. Nice. <laughs> Covering you. Great, and now Parvati. I'll fix you right up. I like the cinematics. They look impressive. Okay, do I have any new ammo? Can I shoot again? I That's the last can. of them. Okay, I'm glad I didn't waste any of my bullets here so okay we defeated a lot of creatures and how about getting upstairs so to say i don't quite get it no i'm not using this one But the scenery is great. I just need to figure out how to get up. Okay, this looks promising. No, not really. That's a shame. And we already were here. Let's go. Oh, okay, we found a bridge. That's amazing. So now I think we're on the right path. Okay, we are getting some ammo out of this guy. Tunnel here. Tunnel here. Nice. Thank you. Monty Queen. Let's begin. Here we go! Okay, Nyoki. Nyoka. Why am I saying Nyoki? Because it's a dish. That's why. I see a nail. Oh, did we defeat it? Almost. Can I shoot again? Nice. Great. Okay, so I think it is done. Which is amazing. And now we need to continue going there. There is a tunnel, yeah, she mentioned it. Nyoka. And let's just go. 
Wonderful. I think I also need to use time dilation a little bit more often. Ah, oh, shit. That's a big one. We can tiptoe around to the left or go in guns blazing. Up I mean, let's try. I'll the ladder. Will she notice us? I don't think she will. The hell? Look up. What's he doing up there? Who? There is nobody here. Okay, let's go. Is this the right place or do we need to go there? It'll help here so we both don't die. What? Who? I don't understand who is talking to us. Oh, here he is. Okay, B Berthold Fox. Okay, let's go to him. Wait, 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 wait. This is the wrong, this is the wrong place. Incoming! Nice. Okay. Let's do special ability. Nice. You got it, I wish they had a couple of different animations because each time the animation is completely the same, which is a little bit strange. Nice. I think I missed. And do we have anything here? Really nothing. So only melee attack. Okay, great. Thank you, guys. And Parati. Wonderful. So is it defeated? Yes, it is. No, it's not. Or is it? Nice, 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 nice. A lot of things. Speak with... Be, with Berthold. Hello. That assist was a violation of corporate law if I ever saw one. Since it was to my benefit, and we're largely in lawless lands, I'll look the other way. C3 owes you one, stranger. You haven't seen Constance, have you? Ah, there's her torso. And that'll be her legs over yonder, never mind. I'm Bertold. What in the void are you thinking, creeping around a mana queen like that? At the time, I was thinking, please don't see me, oh law, I don't want to die, nah nah nah. Now I'm thinking it was stupid to come in here. I'm glad we finally got some dialogue, okay. Uh, what are you doing here? Killing marauders and hooligans, as I am handsomely paid to do. <laughs> of course, as me and Constance discovered, they ain't the only forms of life inhabiting these caverns. I owe you a debt for saving my neck, stranger, and I mean to pay it. Yeah. There's a station up the way. It's where my C3s are posted. We can talk more there where it's safe. I'll be on my way once I've gathered up Constance's parts. Okay, so basically when we meet him again, he will give us money, which is great news. Good to know. So let's go. Where to go now, Nyoka? Here? This is great. And we are going to meet the broker, right? Little creatures. Nyoka, could we please be could you please be a little bit more specific about your directions okay we found an exit which is nice and let's go we are outside and here we again. are told you we'd make it in one piece stationing too far now yeah it's amazing are you friends or not yeah they look friendly Kind of, right? Oh, hello. Hey, Mana Queen Slayer. Glad you made it in one piece. After all, not everyone's so lucky. Meet my corporate compliance crew. Then check out our weapons locker inside. I reckon you'll find something you like. Then we call it even between us. Okay, so he's not giving us the money. He's giving us weapons. Why are you guys guarding the station? Kind of odd for a group of mercs to label themselves as a corporate entity. A corporate model is the oldest and most efficient, not to mention stable structure history has ever shown us. Plus, corporations got certain rights, not entailed to individuals. I lead the C3s, 
Addy covers our payroll and expenditures, Lance handles the human capital, and Donald is our charming public face. Our system works. We've racked up more confirmed kills than any other crew you can hire. That is great. Okay, why are you guarding the station? We were hired to do so. Why else? You did get the memo that we're mercenaries. Our client's a bit unorthodox, sure. He calls himself the broker, and prefers the glow of a terminal to flesh and blood interaction. But I can't fault his work ethic. Our current gig's to stop, by means of lethal force, any creatures exiting the caverns, including but not limited to marauders, iconoclasts, and agents operating for the MSI. Interesting. So he's trying to avoid any human contact. I'll keep an eye for it. Okay. Great. Let's... Guys. She cute. Let's go and get some weapons. Elite troop armor. Ooh, a lot of good stuff. Some money too. Nice. Let's take everything. It looks great. And maybe we check it out right away. So we got some weapons, but we already good, got pretty good weapons. Nice. Great. And let's go. So we continue straight ahead. And we are going to find this guy pretty soon. We've traveled all the monarch. I kind of think that they overdid this part a little bit because I cut a lot for you guys and it was kind of repetitive. So I don't think you would be interested in watching it if I'm being honest. Hey. Are you Marauders? Yes, you are. Captain. Let's do it. Nice. Great. Another one. Wait, I want to use my favorite. Or pistol maybe? Yeah, let's do pistol. Is this it? Nice. Let's take some loot. And do we have anything else? Are we even going in, in the right direction? Because I'm not sure of anything. Oh, no. How the hell did marauders navigate the caverns? I don't know. What is this? This is not Here good. we go! Whoa. Wait. Hey, go away. And some special abilities. Guys, I'm pressing V and C. Why aren't you doing anything? Let's do this one. Nice. What is this? Whoa, strike mechanical. Great. Nicely done on all these guys. I think we're doing great. Let's go. Is there anybody else? Hello. I mean, I wouldn't call it a nice hit, Parvati, but thank you for support. Nice. We are getting some good loot recently. I think that before we didn't really find anything too interesting, but now it's been good. Anybody else here? It looks like it. Go. Great. Don't mess with us. Yeah, 425 bullets left. Sounds great. Okay, let's go. Finally, yay! Slim and shine, that right? toothpaste phaser's choice. This is so cool. I really like that they incorpor incorporated the you story. You may not realize this being as you're an outsider, but the blaring alarms indicate the station's on lockdown. Which means you can't ever get to me. Huh? Don't leave already. I smelled the... <laughs> can't. We'll see about that. Right. Let's get him! Everyone all right? What is this? Purple... Purple berry bunch. Nice. Bending machine, candid tail, a lot of good things. 
So are we stealing now? No, we're not. Great. Some other games. Here's the elevator, but it ain't gonna budge while this place is on lockdown. Guess we keep moving forward. Look for another way up. Sure. Some bottles of I don't know what, probably alcohol. And what is here? Bathroom, nice. I like that they tried to make this place realistic because, you know, people need to go to the bathroom and a lot of games forget about that. You out there, whoever you are, yes, yes, I can see you. Come here and talk to me, face to intercom. Sure. I can't tell if you're brave or simply touched in the head. What in the galaxy are you doing sniffing around my station? Unless you are, in fact, trying to suicide by Marauder? And you, Nioka! What are you doing lugging a stranger into my station? You could use the socialization, you son of a bitch. Also, she hired me. To what purpose? I happen to have some significant problems I am dealing with right now. Marauders, running out of purpleberry wine three days ago, not being able to bloody broadcast. Alright, I need to see the information broker. No, no, no. We'll deal with information-related business later, as I said. There are bigger problems threatening my life and livelihood at this very moment. The Marauders want me dead. And since my hired hands have clearly turned to idle, it appears I need you to clear out the threat. As my newest contractor, you may call me... The Broker. Or we can call you Hiram, on account of that's your damn name, and doubly on the account of The Broker being a dumbass alternative. What? Everyone calls me that. Aside from you. All right, why me? Okay, broker. See, Nioka? <laughs> I barricaded the broadcast center, but I can only hold out for so long. Clear the marauders out, and I'll pay you double the going rate. They destroy the transmission equipment, and I'll be out of business. The elevator and doors to the second floor are back online. Hurry before I have to lock them down again. All right, so we're just helping him out. How many marauders broke into the station? Wasn't it for me? Aside from the bits I'll be paying you? Yeah. You said you wanted something for me. Something information related. I'll give it to you. In person, once I'm safe. Sounds nice. I'll see what I can do. So let's get rid of some marauders. And this broker guy will help us. Hey, elevators to your right. Get ready. No problemo. Let's go. What do you think about this? Where are we headed? What do you think of this new guy, Felix? He seems like a nice boy to me. I'm glad you gave him a shot. Oh, really? Okay. He didn't seem very bright. Uh, he seems like a risk. All that talk about getting into a fight. Why can't I use perception? I have perception, no? Okay. Because we've never ended up in a fight? <laughs> I mean, sure, he's a bit rough around the edges. I bet he just needs somebody to show him a better path. Okay. You seriously think I'm the right sort uh, to put him on the right course of life? So you're saying I could scalp him into an ideal minion? Okay. You might surprise yourself. Thank you. It was a really nice chat. And now we need to head... Straight ahead to get rid of some marauders. Huh? Hello, guys. Here we go. Nice. And another one. You okay, Captain? Yeah, sure. Don't worry. Nothing. Here we go. Great. Oh, I told you I'm going to use more time dilation, so why not? Okay, this is... Whoa, 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 whoa. That was a bit too graphic. No? Sorry. 
I mean, I like the function of this time dilation thing. It sounds and looks fun, but still, you cannot sprint or fast travel while encumbered. Sell, drop, or break down items in your inventory uh, to reduce your carry weight. Nice. Okay, I got it. I mean, let's just drop something. Oh, we have a lot of weapons. So we need to probably start selling more things. Let's go. Big mistake. Nice. Hey, stop this. Thank you. Okay, beat cartridge, energy cell, toss ball card. Is it like a gift for That's the our last companion? of them, I think. Yeah, it looks like it. So let's go. Ah, Marauder free at last. I'll get the door. Do hurry on in. Sure. Hello. Never thought I'd be ecstatic at having the walls painted in blood, but seeing as it's not mine, I'd say this calls for a celebration. <laughs> this ought to square our debt. One hefty payment for a highly valued service rendered. But I admit, I do wonder why Nioka has brought you to me. Allow me to pose my question in another manner. Why, in the nebula, are you here? I told you I'm looking for a certain information broker. You're not an easy man to reach broker. You know why I'm here. Can we continue our conversation from the intercom now? I mean, I told you I'm looking for certain information. Isn't it him? Ah, yes, our little chat on the intercom. You're looking for the premier broker for all of Monarch, which you knew was me, yeah. clearly. Phineas must have sent you. He's the only one insane enough to send someone to Monarch to rush me. I knew it was only a matter of time before he came a-knocking. Look, I might be late, but I fulfill my contracts always. Oh, you do, do you? I have lost track of the number of beers you owe me for chasing raptodons off your stoop. Are you fibbing? Be honest. I take offense to that. Look, okay. Just, it might take me a while this time. Why is that? I am awaiting but a single incoming transmission containing the information we desire. But MSI and the Iconoclasts are clogging the airwaves from Stellar Bay and Amber Heights. In their war against each other, they're scrambling each other's outgoing transmissions. So we kick them off. This is wait. Do we need to choose again between like M S I and Econoclasts? This is a problem. How? The bandwidth. There's too much blasted background noise. Nothing gets through but their local broadcasts, which of course has inadvertently affected the incoming port and my livelihood. All right. So why Amber Heights? Why? Okay, tell me more. Can't we cut them off from inside the station? No, they're jamming the limited frequencies we have at our disposal. Nothing extraplanetary can get in or out until the frequency pollution thins out. The safest bet is to convince Graham and Sanjar to stop transmitting on their end. Okay, so we need to talk to people. I'll talk some sense into them. You do that, I'll be here waiting on the receiving end. Okay, great. Luck be with you. I have a feeling you'll be needing a pinch of it. Plus a vat of patience. Sure. Nyoka needs a f Why does she need a favor? Oh, great. I love doing pro bono work for friends. Aw, you called us friends. I'd normally entertain your self-aggrandizing delusions, but this time it's important. Important to you is not the same as important to me. Although I do recognize that you may have earned some goodwill during your months laboring for me. Okay, she's your friend and she's in need. You're the only one who can help. Why not? Tug on my heartstrings, why don't you? Yeah. Look, I'll do what I can, all right? Rebecca Hodges and Anders Wattsworth. They took a UDL contract back when Monarch went to shit, and I need to find them. I believe them to be on Terra too. If UDL hired two hunters back then, it would have been for creature clearing purposes round one of their spacer's choice outposts. These are the coordinates for the outpost under the last UDL contract. Now scram. And, uh, good luck. 
All right, you are an info broker. What's that? I mean, I think we understand what this is. So I need to head sure. out. You know where to find me if you need me. Sure. So let's get out and then we will fast travel to MSI and to where? I don't remember the second space place. So we basically need to go to their leaders and just say, hey, could you please stop with the like transmitting things, right? Okay, let's go. Where would, where do we need to go? MSI, out of Stellar Bay and Graham Bryant leads the Iconoclasts. Nice, Iconoclasts are where? <laughs> I don't remember. Probably somewhere here, right? Amber Heights. Yeah, 50 meters. Wonderful. It is perfect. And we need to sell things if we find anybody there who can trade with us. That would be great. Hello again. May the eternal truth guide. I Thank ought to you. mention. The Iconoclasts are loyal folk. Treat them right, they'll do the same. Turn on them, they'll open fire without a second thought. Yeah, and we already have some good reputation with them, if I'm not right. mistaken. How many good folk are we gonna lose to our missions? This way. Thank you. Oh, can you trade? I think you can, right? Let's talk. Huh. Move along. Really? You can't trade with me? Why? Can you? I doubt Carry it. Carry on. Sure. Okay, where should we go? Water, zero G, ground, woolly. Informative. So, where should we go? Wait. Okay, revol revolutionary. Nice. Okay, no, I don't need to go outside. I need to go here. And this is where they are. <gasps> I need these things. But they will notice, so I shouldn't steal, probably. So, this way. I was coming this way. No, I think we need to go Romantic. upstairs. Yeah, we felled it, mind. But we lost two runners and five gun hands. A total failure, then. So much for the ruins. And hell only knows where the Van Oys are. They never showed. I'm sure they're... Ah, let's talk later. It seems we have company. Yes, you do. Hello. A stranger comes to our home. If you're looking for a path to walk, you've found one. If you're looking for a teacher, I am one. Welcome to the Iconoclasts. Hello. What do you teach? I'm told you're out of pamphlets. That's a shame. This is Amber Heights. I expected more. No, no, no. I need you to stop using Devil's Peak. I mean, what do you teach probably is more logical. The truth that I have come to learn and embrace since shedding the corporate yoke. Amazing. Out here, we survive by the sheer strength of our spirit. We have no need for the endless rules and red tape of a corporate structure. We do seem to burn through endless ammunition and medical tape, though. <laughs> yes, well, such is life. Our descendants will enjoy safety and luxury, but our generation is the foundation on which that future is built. Now, why have you come? Okay, sounds inspiring. Hiram needs you to stop using Devil's Pig. Stop? No. Spreading the truth is the only way to combat the board's poisonous campaign of propaganda against their people. Your broadcasts aren't working, nobody's listening. You really think the board's going to let its citizens listen to your propaganda? I mean... I don't want to call his teachings propaganda, but the thought that he needs to hear that, hey, the boards is blocking the transmission anyway. They can't be everywhere at once. Surely there are radios that still catch our message here and there. Surely. No. 
Science, you're only transmitting on a single radio frequency, and very few people can receive it. Uh, excuse me, I'm from Edgewater on Terra 2. If you'll pardon my saying, nobody I know has ever heard of you. All the more reason to double down on our efforts. Graham, we should be focusing on survival anyway. Food, ammo, and medicine. Maybe now's the time to pivot. Pivot, huh? If radio isn't working, we might try another way. It seems the captain's timing is more than just serendipitous. It must be fate. I've had my sights on an old printing press for some time. The board uses magazines and advertisements to subtly focus the colony's attention. We will use their tricks against them. Wait, that's not what I meant. <clears throat> Help me clear out and repair the press, and I will have no need for that rust bucket of a radio tower. Alright, sounds fair to me. Hold on, you're saying you want to print propaganda in their magazines? I mean, why not? Wonderful. I requisitioned replacement rollers for it some time ago. Huxley should have delivered them yesterday. Speaking of which, where is Huxley? You bought rollers? You haven't even cleared the wraps out yet. What are you doing wasting bits on... Wait, where is Huxley? It seems we're out a runner. If you intend to help our cause, I'll ask you to meet our MSI supplier in her stead. MSI supplies you? I mean, who else? Where is the supplier? She meets us in the ruins of Bayside Terrace. From our compound, follow the road north. Alright, I'll be back. Wonderful. While you're at it, I wonder if Carlotta still has those high-capacity cartridges? Grab a few, will you? There should be some funds left over from the last shipment. We can use them to copy and modify radio serials. Yes, not just magazines, but their precious dramas. Oh, Unbelievable. no. I hope I don't have to tell you this, but if there is extra money, would you mind buying, I don't know, food and medicine? Graham, <laughs> if you need me, I'll be in triage. Okay. Get the printing press rollers, get high-capacity cartridges on or extra supplies from Carlotta. All right, let's do this. So we are going out now to meet the supplier and help these people get some press, some advertisement. What was it like in Edgewater? I hear you workers were on the clock every available moment. We always got eight hours a day for sleeping. Just not always consecutive. My condolences. I appreciate consistent wages like any other sane person, but that still sounds awful. At least Sanjar gives his folks weekends. Weekends? <laughs> Hand to the void. I used to drop by the bar in Stellar Bay to knock a few back with the folks who had Saturdays off. Don't know what I'd have done with that much time. I was always behind schedule anyhow. Knowing you, you'd sit and be alone with your thoughts. Hey. You know, Probably it's a little bit difficult to do in a video game, but the fact that they're both looking at me while talking to each other, I mean, it's a little bit strange to say the least, you know, very, very strange feeling. Okay, so now we're going there. Do we need to follow the road again? Yeah, we need to follow the road and then go right when we have a choice. Nice. So basically this is the main road of this place and if you try to cut short nothing works out this is mostly what i was cutting off in the beginning of this video because i was just trying you know to find a shorter way and of course i ended up just struggling with finding any way at all and i needed to go back to this road anyway so that's what it is and we're just going straight ahead trying to find this msi supplier basically this is a new area so we are going here and we have some monsters right all together nice See? you got it captain thank you for watching and oh leveling up already that is amazing so let's go and do some 
persuasion, lie, intimidation. Maybe we should focus on one, but I don't know. I want them all to be good. Maybe we can do 60 persuasion. Nice, and now we have 60 adapt cover targets armor minus 50%. That is amazing. And scrambled auto mechanicals attack on their normal speed. Terrified creature movement speed minus 30%. Nice. And now let me check the medical. Hostile effect duration on targets plus 50%. Corrosion damage plus 25%. And ray damage plus 25%. And chance items you repair will become pristine. This is kind of cool, actually. Hmm, I don't know. Okay, let's... Hostile effect duration on targets. I don't know. I think we need kind of all of that, so let me do this. And what is this? <laughs> let me check. Increases the damage inflicted by your companions maximum health of your companions okay yeah let's increase this twice because our companions are proven to be really effective so yeah i'm pretty happy with that and now we are having a skill point tactical time dilation meter when Pravati performs her ability recharge some of your tactical time dilation we're not really using it okay equip time Increase the damage dealt by companion's ability. This one is nice. Reset ability cooldown on ability use. Yeah, let's do this one. Accept and Nyoka. Let me check. Damage, yeah, damage creatures. Sure. Wait, Nyoka deals bonus damage to creatures. Then probably not. Yeah, let's do this one as well. Nice. Great. So let's go. Do we need to go here? Sealed, really? So, what? How are we supposed to get there then? Do I just not see something? What? Why can't I run? Okay, this is a road which gives me hope. That we're going in the right direction. Nice. Okay, yeah, yeah, I think everything is alright. Let's go. Hello. You seem friendly. Excuse me, but this area is off limits. We got a leaky generator. It ain't safe. That's okay. That's my nice way of telling you to saw it off. No. Okay, what's going on here? I need to get inside. And I'm just gonna let you walk on in? Why is that now? Why not? Lie, I'm here to investigate reports of mantis swarm infestation. You are here for Carlotta. I get it. I'll offer. You get paid. We all going home with a win. Why would I? What? No, just lie. Oh, of all the void damned. I ain't getting in alive for a couple of bits. Pack it up, crew. Thank you. And it was Persuasion 55, right? How much do we have? Okay, 76 with Parvati, but 60 by ourselves, which is good. It means that we would have been able to perform this action anyways. It's too quiet. What are you up to out there? Hello? <laughs> Relax, the sublight squad is gone. Is that you? Yeah, and for the hundredth time, I'm not opening this door. Who are you, anyway? Uh, just your friendly neighborhood iconoclast. It doesn't matter who I am, I'm here to pick up Graham's supplies. Oh, for finally! Tell Graham that this is the last run I'm doing. Sanjar's declared a stop sale to you lot, but even if he hadn't, I'm not risking my neck anymore. All right. Got it. Hello, Carlotta. I don't know how you got those goons to leave, but thank you. Graham ordered rollers and whatsits, right? For a printing press? Here, take them. Like I said, 
This is my last run. I need to get more things from you. Why did Sanjar ban you from working with the Connor class? Why have you been helping Graham? Where will they get their supplies now? Law help them. I don't know. Maybe Sublight can lend a hand. I should go. Look, Graham's got a bit or two left in his account. I can send one last dropout before I wash my hands of this. What do you want delivered? So, I need to make a choice, but they need food and medicine, so yeah. I always took that woman for the sensible type. Good on her. I'll send some along. Nice. Give them all my regards. And good luck out there. Don't go getting eaten. She's so beautiful. Okay, let's go. Vending machine. Yeah, we wanted to sell some things, so... Vendor buying price plus 20%, which is amazing. Wait, do we need to eat all that stuff? Oh, they give us bonuses. Okay, okay. What, what episode is this? Like, the fifth one? Great time to realize that we have a lot of useful things, right? Okay, natural health regeneration. So basically before fighting we need to eat some things. Nice. Okay, so I don't know what to sell then. Maybe just weapons. Yeah, let's sell some weapons. Why can't I sell? Oh yeah, I remember in order to be able to sell, we need to have more engineering, right? Okay, flywheel, a small metal device used to store rational energy. Let me beat cartridges. Oh, sorry. The wrong button. Energy cell, light ammo, heavy ammo. Cartridges, pistol, this one not now. Corporation service award. Maybe I can sell it. I don't know. Beat cartridges. Nope. Nice. Let's go. Looks great. So now we need to go back to Iconoclasts, right? Or not? I think so. Amber Heights. Yeah, so we will tell them that we found what they were looking for. What do you think of the unreliable Parvati? There's always something to fix. And it's neat working in the Aether. I always took Atmo for granted. Now, if I drill through the hole, we all suffocate. <laughs> Exciting, you know? I, I'm not sure I wanted to know that. <laughs> Being in space sets me on edge enough. Yeah. You know about stellar emissions? A actually, I probably shouldn't tell you about those. I mean, not unless you want to know how we're all likely to get spacers long. <laughs> right. Okay. Wonderful. When we get back to the ship, I'm drinking this conversation right out of my recollection. You have never been on the ship, so saying going back is a little bit strange. I'm telling you, the Van Noys are fine. Bullshit, Graham. They don't just abandon orders, and they weren't at the ruins. Where in this sulfur-sodden hellhole did you send them? They're on a very important... Ah, we'll continue this later. Welcome back, Captain. Sure. I got your rollers. Thank the Eternal that someone's got some sense in their head. Carlotta usually schedules the next drop during the meeting. When's she coming? Oof, she's not. She isn't. Sanjar has declared a stop sale on goods to the iconoclasts. That is most unfortunate. Yeah. This cuts off one of our only two supply lines on Monarch. Sanjar, old friend, you're about to cross a dangerous line. About to? That idiot just declared war. Yeah. I... We will deal with his subversion later. For now, we must redouble our efforts to spread the truth to the colony. Okay, time to fix up the printing press then. The print... Oh no. Graham, you didn't. What? I've already sent a team ahead to scout the press. One of our best. Meet them there and find out if they've been successful. You sent the Vanoys there, didn't you? <laughs> Oh, for fuck's sake, Graham! We needed them in the ruins! Our people died out there! They went willing to fight for our cause. We need reinforcements. We need new recruits. 
The Van Noys saw the printing facility with the same importance as I. The hell's the sense in recruiting if you're just gonna get them killed? I have the utmost confidence in their abilities. Friends, we must have faith that the men and women we recruit can handle the duties for which we recruit them. I mean, they are both kind of right because she is being more practical, the Zora person, and he's just saying, hey, we don't have enough people. We need, we need to get more people. So I understand. So let me see. Spreading the word has to be priority number one. You could have sent them after backing Zora up, right? Do you ever stop bickering? This is worth bickering over. The iconoclasts can't keep their heads in the ground forever, or they're going to starve and die slow. Look, just... If the Van Noys are still alive, get them out of there. With Sanjar pressing the issue like this, I have a feeling we'll need them. Okay. I'll do everything I can. The printing press comes first. No, no, let's get the people and then we can, you know, solve the issue with the printing thing. So, let's go. Retrieve Zora's team. Why not? Of course, let's retrieve them. Because I think it is the right thing to do. So, where are they? Let's go and find them. I like that the time changes. Like, you can clearly see... You ever been off Monarch, Nyoka? Before you met the captain, I mean. Nah, I mostly just drank and hunted. As soon as you stop to dream of other things, that'll be the day something sneaks up and eats you. Don't fret. I'm watching your back now. Anything tries to eat us, I'll give it a mighty whack on the nose. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. You watch my back, I'll watch yours. Oh, they're becoming friends. Bit by bit, but still. Alright, 600 meters. Oh, that's pretty far away. But I think we can manage it. So this is the closest. So let's go here. Nice. I don't understand this slogan. It's not the best choice. It's Spencer's choice. It doesn't sound good. You know, like there is a best choice, but you don't need it because you need Spencer's choice. Did you have a sweetheart in Stellar Bay? I had a fling or two, sure. But on Monarch, relationships ain't usually meant to last. A lot of fools tried to impress me, feigning bravado in the wilds, thinking they'd catch my attention with their stories. It was cute. Not so cute when their act got themselves munched. You know what's sexy? Confidence. You know what ain't? Disembowelment. <laughs> Careful. Only things you'll find in the ruins are liable to shoot you or eat you. Or both. Good to I wonder who used to live here. Do you suppose anyone remembers anymore? Let's go. Be a great nice. Great, and this one. Don't mess with us. Yeah, that was good. Let's go help out these guys. I don't quite understand what they were doing here, but I think we will help them out, right? Some more monsters. Here we go. Oh, so close. Oh, wait, I shouldn't pick up garbage. I forgot. Okay. Great. Oh, I forgot about using their abilities again. What is this? Repeated encounters with Raptidons have lessened your effectiveness when they're attacking. No, 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 no. We're not taking this one because we are really you know, fighting them quite often, so I'm not getting any disadvantage in that. Here we go. Nice. Great. Let's go. Help out in in a, what was their name? Econoclasts? Econo Econo something? <laughs> Oh, I think here they are. This is nice. Are you two okay? Yeah, sure, why not? Hello. Am I here to talk to you? Nioka, you're a sight right now, I'll tell you what. We are up a creek. I bet. 
You really come this far north for a printing press? Yeah, I know, I know, but that's the mission. Don't suppose y'all are busy right now. We're here to help you out. Graham sa actually sent me to secure the press. Zora sent me to look for guys. Yeah. Thank the Eternal. We could use a hand. But we can't leave without patching these guys up. Acker here is bleeding out and Jensen can't see straight. Our medic has got our trauma kit, but we got separated. We ain't seen him in a couple of hours. I have medicine skills. Okay, I don't have time to play doctor. You're... No. Okay, why can't we just help out? Any idea where he went? Yeah, on account of giving him the order. He's searching the old settlement to the north of the press. All right, got it. Where he is. So we need to find the doctor first. <coughs> Do we need to go around or we need to just continue going forward? I'm not sure. Okay, this one. I'm ready for this. Let's do it. Nice. She's so fierce. To shreds, you say? And another one more. Is she? Okay. Nice one. And another one. Parvati. Here goes nothing. Nice. Now I want to see what Felix can do and especially what Sam can do. Let's go. I think the medic is here, right? Or is it the printing press? I'm not sure. Okay, let's go. V. Nice. And another one. Great. Thank you, Parvati. And what is X? I don't know. So my special ability is time dilation, right? And then this one. This is bad. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's do it. No, 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 not don't pick up, don't pick up things. I forget. Okay, are you alright, guys? Yoka, what are you doing lying there? What is this? This is a person. This is not good. Okay, beat cartridge, beat cartridge. Nice. Nice. Let's go. We need to go them the medical things and then we can go secure the printer, right? It's good that they're close by. We basically can help them and don't ruin our mission. Any luck out there? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Well, that's better than nothing. Thanks. We'll head out as soon as we're patched up. Don't worry about it. Great. I think Zora will be happy about that. And it's not good that he, I don't remember his name, Graham, something like that, right? He didn't care about them. Not really. So maybe Zora is supposed to be the leader. I think it would be better. Here they come! Nice one! Yeah, I think it is great. Let's do this. And another one. Another one. We have a big one. Parvati, can you do this one? Here I go. Nice. It looks amazing. But yeah, as I said, I wish the effects would be a little different. Like maybe they could have at least three animations. I know obviously it's additional work, but when they're doing the same Everyone thing right? each time, it's, I don't know, it gets too repetitive. Where is the printer? Let's go. Try to find it. Really? Oh no. Do we need to find a key or something? 
or a way to open it. Do we have anything here? No, nope, nothing. Now, can we open this one? Yeah. Oh, we can go from this side. Okay, here we go. Nice. Wait. Yeah, we're doing fine. Bracelet. Simple metal bracelet. I don't think we need that. Employer rights. Wage determined by merit of your work. And who determines the merit of their work? Energy cell. Some nice desk. And now we need to go here and here. All right, install rollers, run diagnostics, faulty rollers, consult your nearest sprinting engineer. Makes sense. What? Is everything okay? I think so. Press number six is now operational. That is amazing. Let's go. So do we need to print everything? Who's going to do the printing? Let's go. Now this one, right? Yeah, I think they will come here and they will print their advertisements. I don't know if it's going to work, if they're going to get new people because of it, but still. Wait, where should we go? Yeah, nice. Fast travel, very useful. And now we're going. I don't know what it is, but my gun's been acting funny. It used to be, I had to correct for a bit of leftward drag. Got used to standing just so, and after a while, it put a thorn in my side, something awful. Lately, okay. though, it ain't pulling. I find my stance much improved. Oh, that's real good to hear. It took me a while to. Uh, <laughs> never mind. What? Girl, have you been touching my stuff? <laughs> I'm sorry, I should have asked. I just got real bored, and I seen you leaning, and the gun was sitting right there. You know, the last time I caught someone messing with my equipment, I threw them in a sulfur pool. But I appreciate the help. You want to make modifications? Just come ask me, all right? I ain't gonna bite. Yeah, Parvati should have asked, but I mean, she's so sweet. If you'll just listen... No, no more listening, no more preaching. We are losing people left and right. We need to act. Enough, Zora. I'm not putting the torch to innocent people. Do you want to bring the board's cruisers and gunships down on us? Captain, apologies, but our situation grows dire. Our people talk of foolish endeavors. What news do you bring? Okay, if there are gunships, they sure didn't stop me from landing here. The printing press is all yours. Excellent. Did you find the Van Noyes? Yeah. The Van Noyes are on their way back. Thank the Eternal. We're one step closer to bringing the truth to every man, woman, and child in Halcyon. For now, you can tell Hiram that I'll stop using Devil's Peak. From the pits of our eternal souls. Thank you, Captain. Oh, thank you. I have much to do. Articles to write, sermons to ponder. We live in such an exciting time. Let's talk later. Hey, I need to see to the wounded, but drop by the clinic when you can. I want a word. Whoa, we are leveled up, and I think she wants to, like, you know, start a revolution. Make him not be in charge and just control everything. I don't know. I mean, she seems nice. I'm, I just think that they have too many disagreements. But it is good that they have, you know, two points of view. It is healthy. That's why people have, like, democracies and everything. Because it's supposed to show points of view of different people. And benefits in order to benefit everyone when making decisions. Let's talk. Hey, Captain. I need your help, and we ought to keep it hush-hush. Hush-hush? You know about what happened here, right? The history of Amber Heights? 
Not really. Fella came through Edgewater once, mentioned something to my dad about pirates wiping out a town. You mean this is the same place? Right. Common belief is that the pirates fled to an old relay station that had already been abandoned, but nobody could find them. The station's locked up, but one of my people found an old data cartridge in a nearby wrapped nest. It's mostly corrupted, but I pulled a couple codes off of it. One is the code to the Amber Heights gate. I don't recognize the other, but it's similar. I bet it opens a door. Okay. Why are we keeping this to ourselves? I don't get what's so important about it. Don't you have bigger problems? I honestly don't get what she wants to say. I surely do. But it's not far. And if they died in there, they died with their munitions. We'll need them. Besides, if it's filled with valuables from the aristocrats who lived here, we can pawn them off on sublight and get ourselves ahead on our food budget. I mean, it sounds important. Why are we keeping this to ourselves? Graham isn't fond of talking about the history here. He had friends who worked here. The massacre hit him pretty hard. You know him. Live and let live and all that. I don't want to burden him right now. Especially if this ends up being a dead end. I mean... I want to help her. Okay. Go to the relay station, see if the code is useful. Anything else? Just a warning. The area is infested with mantisaurs. What a surprise. Send some help, but we're, you know... Preparing for war? Sure. Right, I'm on it. Appreciate it. Here's the code. If it works, bring back anything you find. Supplies are best, but information's good too. If someone was behind the Amber Heights massacre, it'd give a lot of people around here some closure to find out who and string them up. Good luck. Watch out for the taros. Imagine if it was the board, if the board is responsible, then they're going to win the war. Oh yeah, I need to level up a little bit, so let me just do... What should we do? We should do one leadership for sure, then persuasion line intimidation again, and then long guns, heavy weapons... They're still my favorite, even though now I'm trying to use the pistol more. Maybe we should do everything equally. Yeah, let's do everything equally. And probably... Yeah, let's increase life, because then we will get 60. Wait, scrambled auto mechanics and terrified creature movement speed. I think intimidation is better. So let's do this. And accept. And another perk. Wonderful. Okay, not this one. Companion ability cooldown for each of your kills. Oh, I should have chosen this one instead of this one. Never mind. A health restored per kill. Consumable weight. Dialogue skill. Yeah. I mean, listen, I know. I know we're doing a lot for dialogue, but I really like it. I like when we can just use it to get out of any situation. So, why not, right? Did anything change? Bonus support lie, ordinance control helmet gold. Okay, we'll figure it out. Now let's go. Where should we go, by the way? Yeah, we should go outside and then we probably can fast travel to the place where she, what, which she was talking about. A mysterious stranger threatens our something. Okay, where is the quest? Where is the quest? Here? Where here? I don't see it. Oh, yeah, we are here now, so we need to go to this place. Nice. Great. And what are we supposed to do? What is it? Transition to Stellar Bay. Am I doing the quest sheet? was talking about or am I doing another quest okay MSI guard oh let's talk to this Sanjar guy because we need to stop his transmission as well well new business turns up at last yeah sure Celia didn't I tell you our new statistics based advertising model would be <laughs> a hit 
That you did, sir. How can yield improvements of 26.7% not quicken the pulse? How can 32% cost savings not moisten the loins? I don't know how. You've often posed these very questions. Clear my schedule. This newcomer has a meeting with me. <laughs> That's very generous of you. No, you have a meeting with me. No, no, no. Celia, will you make a note of that for my self-review? Very generous. Self-review. Noted. But not so generous I can't drive a good bargain. Now, who sent you? Rizzo's, perhaps? Or Auntie Cleo herself? Not really. Uh, me, I'm charting my own path, going where the wind takes me. What a charming notion. One doesn't meet many free spirits in Alcyon. Not outside Tartarus prison, anyway. <laughs> Forgive me, I'd be positively enraptured. Only, I take it this means you aren't here for Saltuna. No, nope, sorry. Hey, could have, could always be both. Now, now, there's no need to humor me. I'm used to this particular letdown. Seems like you're having a rough time, Mr. Sanjar. Are you doing quite all right? Oh, don't worry on my account. This is merely the latest in a long line of professional erotic and athletic disappointments. <laughs> I had hoped that livening up our advertisements with enticing figures would draw the other corporations back to our bosom, but it seems we're back to the drawing board. You know, it's such a shame because the dialogue here is so good. I honestly think they should have put more emphasis on it, like the developers of the game. Okay, what exactly are you hoping to accomplish? If you're free of the other corporations, why would you want to bring them back? Sounds like a personal problem. Uh, what exactly are you hoping to accomplish? Thanks to the so-called hazard clause, Monarch has been cut off from the board's resources and protection for 10 years now. So-called is right. We've got our hazards, but we're still here, damn it. The board took off without so much as a thought for the folks left behind. I don't... Dang it, Captain, that's not right. Folks on Monarch shouldn't have to suffer just because the board says so. Well, we've kept ourselves in business by trading with individual corporations, but given the off-the-books nature of those transactions, such arrangements are precarious. Yeah, I get it. And you're tired of scrunching and scraping by, is that it? Sounds like you're freer than anyone else in Halcyon, why not embrace it? I can tell your iconoclast friends have left their mark on you. <laughs> Freedom always sounds nice, doesn't it? It makes a rather pretty slogan. Yeah. But if you sit down and tally up the costs, how you provide for yourself in the absence of aid, how you protect yourself from a hostile galaxy, it starts to lose its shine. You make a good point. Indeed. Mr. Nandi here has a rather ingenious plan to get MSI restored to the board. How? On our terms, mind you. But will that help the people here, Mr. Sanjar? Keep them fed and safe? That's precisely what I'm trying to do. And if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit, then perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. What do you mean? What's the plan? It's a two-pronged approach. The first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. You do seem to have a bit of a capstone problem. And a Mantisaur problem. And a Marauder problem. Many, many problems. But they can all be solved with a Bolt 52 cartridge. If you can get us what we need to rejoin the board, starting the Bolt 52, we'll be able to become one of the most productive and secure cities in Halcyon. And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. I mean, that could be good. So where do we find one? In the old arms building southwest of town, which used to be part of Stellar Bay before we had to move our walls in. These days it's overrun with marauders and raptodons. Then I guess I'll get your bold 52. Do be careful. I've lost more than a few people to Marauders and Raptodons out there. Oh, and while you're at it, there should be a terminal in the arms building with some dangerous information. Perhaps you could delete it so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Before I go, I need to ask you about something. What can I do for you? I need MSI to stop broadcasting. 
have questions. I'm at Grim, the London pod guard. No, MSI. Wait, yeah, I remember he, he asked us to tell him. I see. And was his delivery of the MSI authorized greeting up to snuff? Yes, it was amazing. Well, that's excellent. I'll see that your feedback makes it into his review. What else can I do for Great. you? So now I need you to stop broadcasting. You're just as rigid as the old executive committee. Why, we've hardly been able to get a clear message out until recently. When Graham finally shut up. It isn't easy keeping a town like Stellar Bay afloat, especially without the board's backing. We need that frequency to reach our trading partners. There must be another way for you to do the business. Indeed. That's why it's imperative that MSI be reinstated onto the board. And the first step is getting the Bolt 52. So, okay, we're getting the Bolt 52 and they stop broadcasting. Got it. Nice. We have quite a lot of quests here and they're not like skippable. I mean, they are main quests, right? I'm kind of surprised because I really liked... Help! Someone's been killed! What? Are you saying that? I think I'm gonna be sick. Why? I clean the apartments while everyone's at work. I've seen all sorts of messes, but this... If you're going into the apartments, do not go into the lower one on the right. That's where the body is. Now, if you'll excuse me. I need to go contemplate a hot shower. That was strange. Is it a trap? I think it could be. Right? I think it's a trap. What happened here? Oh! Oh, sorry, sorry. Just spooked me, was all. Even it's... Stellar Bay ain't safe these days. What's the world coming to? Search for clues, really? Why not? Steel, no, I don't need this one. Is it a clue? No, it's not. What clues? I don't see anything. Right? I mean, I like playing detective, but I don't see anything of importance. A bag. Several ragged outfits, all the same cut and color, were stuffed into the suitcase. Okay, stealing some money. Stealing some Mac pick, why not? Sleep, it would be strange to sleep here, don't you think? Okay. I don't know what other clues. This guy doesn't really have anything else. Does he? Victim, we can't examine the victim, which is a bit ridiculous. This batting sleep lists some increasingly bold wagers made for a team called Mostly Colonists. It's from left field tossball batting. Search the apartment for clues. Okay, we found all the clues. And what else? Investigate left field tossball batting. I mean, this is kind of interesting. But I don't know, maybe we should just continue with the main quest. Because I really wanted to do some companion quest today, but I don't think we're going to have the time for that. So let me see. Nice. Yeah, let's go. Wait, am I going? I need to go back. Yeah, this time. This way. Let's go, Stellar Bay. Nice. And we're just going outside. Transition to Stellar Bay. Slices, dices, cutter rises. Plasma cutter. And now where is our quest? It's here. I think this is the fastest way to get there. So, oh, <laughs> we're already here. Okay, that's good. And wait. Do you ever worry all that ammo in your berth might combust? What? Wait, that's... It can do that? All it takes is a little bit of black powder next to a lot of bits of fertilizer and one real hot day and... I've seen it happen. I don't know what's more unsettling. 
the concept of my ammunition spontaneously combusting, or the fact that this is the kind of thing you think about on the regular. Feels like the old bits outside of Edgewater. Used up, unneeded, left to settle into ruin. Don't bother knocking on any doors. If anyone's inside, they're liable to respond with gunfire. Great, thank you for information. So let's go. We have some monsters here. Very nice. Let's go! Damn, but we're good. Great. It was quick. This wasn't. Nice. Another one. Great. And we still have 447. I mean, it is good, but we'll see. Let's go. Okay, where is the quest? Here. Do we need to go inside? Maybe I missed something. Do we need to go? Yeah, I think we need to go here. No? Really? No? Okay. Where should we go then? But we do need to come inside, right? Is there any way to do it? Maybe here? I don't understand. What quest is this? We're doing Bolt with his name. Sanjar wants the data on any terminals in the Irons building deleted. The Bolt 52 is an abandoned building north of Stellar Bay. We're doing this one, right? So how do we get in? Maybe from this side? No? Returning fire! What returning fire? Cool. Solid kill. Great. Enemy killed another one. Why how do I get in? Am I not seeing something? That's the last of them. We cannot open this one. Optional arms building key. I don't have it. Okay, let's try to figure out what to do. Maybe we need to go inside other buildings. Find key or something like that. What is this? Pick up, knock you out bar? What? No. Workbench. This is good. Maybe we can repair some things. Why not, right? Yeah. Let's repair. Why not? Let's repair this one. <gasps> 28. Oh. We need weapon parts. So this one is going to break down very, very soon. Okay. Okay. That's okay. Tinker, what is Tinker in this context? What, is it? what do you mean? Okay, let me check. Do you want to tinker the plasma combine? It will cost 41 bits. Damage, we will increase damage. It is good. 28%, but I can, you know, I can just change it. Wait, let me take this one, right? Are they the same? Yeah, they're the same. So, that's amazing. What is this? Long gun. Knock down. What? Do I need to give it to somebody? No, let's leave it like that. And now, let's tinker a little bit. Yeah, this is pristine condition. Why not? And it's pretty cheap, so I don't see a point of not using it. Maybe also with the armor. Nice. Oh, we need to repair the armor. Wait. Great. Looks amazing. And tinker again. Plus 160. Modify. Yeah, let's modify something. Maybe this one. Install mod. Whoa, they will look different. It's pretty cool. Critical damage plus 20 firing noise. No, let's do this one. Great. Corrosion. 
Why not? Now we have a fancy pistol. Ooh, yeah, see? We added some additional effect. Maybe I can do something with this one. Oh, I think you could install only on one type of weapon. Okay, then it was a little bit dumb, but now we have a good pistol, so let's work with that. Sleep. Why would I sleep now? Beat cartridge, armor part, weapon part. Nice. Secret lighter. Why would I need that? Weapon parts. Nice. But we don't really have anything useful here. Except workbench, you know. So let me see. We can repair, right? But now we kind of don't need to. We need to repair this one. Yeah, this one is good, which is great. How do I get there? Evicted. Let me see. Again, evicted. All right, we will figure it out probably next time because we've been playing for a while. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye.